Well guys, today we're going to take you up to uh, McLaren's Bay area and we'll go a little northbound and there's an utter, upper utter, otter, otter, sorry, upper otter creek. We're going to try to go up in the canoe. Never been there before, don't know what the water level is like. Um, we have no idea what to yeah. expect. Worst case scenario, <laughs> we can do plan B and I know a guy by the name of Don, I won't say his last name, but he lives not too far from there, and maybe we'll go steal some of his carrots. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> He's got a little farm, a hobby farm, but uh, anyway, we'll, we'll get up to something else if that doesn't work, but uh, there's plenty of uh, campsites around, uh, and it is in the Blue Lake area, so worst case scenario, we can pick another lake. Yeah. But uh, let's uh, let's give it a go and see what, uh, we, what we find. Sounds good to me. All right. Let's boogie. It's gonna to be too windy. There's a lot of wind. Or no. <laughs> so uh, this is on the way to McLaren's Bay. Uh, I'll have to look up what creek it is and we'll put it over top here. But it's a really beautiful spot and I figured I'll uh, once again this isn't private or a, a provincial land. I'm gonna fly to well try to fly the drone up through this um, waterfall. Well, it's not really, well, it's a creek, I guess, but it's beautiful. Anyway, hopefully this works out. Thank you, along. Alrighty, we're back in the truck. We're gonna head on down to McLaren's Bay and go see if it's too windy to get in the canoe. Yeah. See what the river's doing? It's pretty windy. It is very windy. The drone keeps giving Rob a warning, a wind warning. So. I think it's the worst case scenario. We might have to go to the trailer tonight and... Make the best of it. Tomorrow we try to at least go up there and take a look anyway. I want, I want to see where it goes. It's got my curiosity peaked now. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna go check out McLaren's Bay. All right, so this is where we are, McLaren's Point, and up here is where we want to go. But 
there's a couple of things here so it's only about a five five and a half kilometer route I just checked windy I mean you can see the trees moving pretty good yes this is the Ottawa River and it is a little bit protected but we got about 21 kilometers of wind kilometer an hour kilometer wind. an hour winds um, and it's all fine and dandy is actually the right direction to go to where we want to go we're not sure about that creek and whether or not you can get up it and whether or not we can even camp on it so if we have to come back and I know people are judge me on this one but 20 21 25 kilometer an hour winds that'll be a real slug so against what, us it's already against us. two o'clock yeah so uh, I think we'll spend the night in the trailer tomorrow I mean we have a long weekend uh, tomorrow we'll uh, we'll get up early and we can uh, make hay and get out towards there the winds about half tomorrow and then on Monday it's only five kilometer an hour wind so it's really nice on the way home mm -hmm. so I think that's the best decision here we don't have to rush it nope um, we would go if we knew the area better but we don't even know if that uh, the river is passable at the moment so I think this is the safest way to go yep and we'll have a fun evening at camp I and we know there's people out there uh, family and friends so we'll head over to camp t for tonight have a nice meal and yeah see what we get up to sounds good well, we made it to camp safely. We uh, realized on the way that forgot to grab some vegetables. So we're gonna do a little bit of mushroom hunting here. It's getting close to making dinner. So I just made us a couple drinks and I'm gonna head down towards the water that's behind our trailer and have a couple drinks, grab a couple mushrooms. Hopefully there's some, Rob's already down there trying to find some and yeah. Hopefully we have something with our steaks tonight. <laughs> I think Rob packed steak kebabs, so should be really good. If not, I guess we're going carnivore tonight or mixing something up that might be in the in the trailer that, uh, I don't know, packing Mr. Noodles or something. Who knows? All right, let's go see if there's any mushrooms and bring Rob his bevy. And? My puff ball disappeared. Somebody eat it? I don't know. I was waiting for it to mature and we came back a week later and she gone. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody must have ate them. <laughs> well, we're back at the trailer here, so we're going to do some skewers. Um, I'd just like to call one thing out. So we got some red meat. Uh, these are sirloin cap. I know it's, sorry, sirloin, sorry, not even sirloin, strip line. These were on sale, but they're actually really nice for kebabs too. I don't have any here. What? What are you looking for? There's a, sp a steak spice called Bavarian. Uh, for those that are in Ontario, Sobeys, Independent, they both have it. It's a really wonderful spice for um, kebabs. Sorry, my old man. I'm tired, guys. <laughs> my arm kept me up all night last night. Uh, Anybody who doesn't know my arm got fat for some unknown reason. <laughs> it's really irritating. Sorry. <laughs> You're gonna laugh at me. Old people struggles. <laughs> Anyways, the Bavarian steak spice is actually wonderful for kebab. So that's all mm -hmm. it's on here. It's just Bavarian and a little bit of olive oil. And we're gonna skewer them up here. <laughs> when we left this morning, I meant to pick up some peppers or something. We were in a rush this morning. At actually. Walmart. Dropping and, our daughter off at uh, work. So, yeah, I got meat. <laughs> then we went out to, to try to, to find some mushrooms. And no luck. Just no mushrooms. So, meat it is. We're having skewers. Yeah. Do so, we have any garlic here? We do. We can make some garlic bread. Bread. I'm going to make bread right now. <laughs> There's some buns in the freezer. Was there buns in the freezer? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can have some brioche buns with it, I guess. Make some garlic bread. I thought Jim was going to make me some bread. No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bring my bread making stuff. <laughs> I don't have any. <laughs> you don't even want to make bread. Anyway, we're going to skewer these up and then we're going to go over to uh, Jen's sister's and uh, 
and cook them on her barbecue because we don't have a charcoal and we don't have a barbecue. Yeah. So, so hopefully they let us uh, come by. Yeah, Otherwise, uh, we steal from Julian Rustum's trailer. Yeah. We'll go, we'll go cherry pick their, uh, their, barbecue. their barbecue with our tank on it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's make dinner. Well, good morning, everybody. We are on route to McLaren's Bay again. It's a beautiful morning. It's already 9.30. Barely any wind. So we lucked out on that. Yeah, so it's going to take us about 15 minutes to get there. And then we will unload the truck and get on our way and see what we can find. Since it's a place we've never been, we don't know what we're in for. <laughs> no, no, like... Uh... There's some, it, it is, uh, it is labeled as a canoe route, an older canoe route. Uh, however, some canoe route, uh, routes are good in the spring when the water is high and not so good in the fall. And because we don't know it, we might get there and it's just not, not enough Not water. passable. So, yeah, we'll just play it by ear. Hope for the best. There's also a huge trail system up there and I'll try my best to uh, put a map of it. Uh, Maybe we can just link that in the description or something like that. But yeah, it looks like, like it looks like over a hundred kilometers of trail mm -hmm. and uh, There's a couple spots on there like there's one with a great big cliff that you can have a like a Like a look off. Yeah um, Yeah, really nice. Maybe we'll uh, Maybe we'll hike that someday. Yeah, hundred kilometers that uh, You'd have to pack light. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, no, it's it looks to be a pretty cool trail. Mm -hmm. I found this raspberry bush. Oops, I squished it. <laughs> I got a few, ate a few already. Just the raspberries. Oh, yeah, the raspberries. <laughs> yeah, you guys are lucky. <laughs> They're good, eh? Probably wondering what I'm up to here. Boats out today, guys. Super nice out here. It's uh, gonna be 29 degrees Celsius today. It's extremely warm already, and it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. I'd say it's gotta be at least what 24, 25 out already. Nothing that melt a newfie. Yeah, <laughs> that's not hard to do. <laughs> yeah. So leaving the bay there. Super friendly people over there at McLaren's Bay help you, give you lots of pointers on where to park because it's uh, considered crown land but you don't want to be rude because there's a whole bunch of cottages around so you kind of just get like an informal okay to leave your vehicle so just let them know what you're up to. Yeah, 5.4 kilometers to the Otter, Otter Creek. Otter Creek, yeah. Upper Otter Creek. We're both very excited and checking this out. Who the heck knows what we're going to find? Rob thinks he might have a fish on, right? Yeah? Oh, it's a pike, yeah. We're just gonna let him go, eh? Yeah, I just gotta get this hook in it. Oh, rocks. Did he 
take your rear? Oh, I know. So we're having not much luck looking for a trail here. Let's see if we can make it past without having to carry everything over the rocks. So, we got out of the canoe. That was a bit of an ordeal. It's very slippery on the rocks there. Not really ideal, but uh, that's what happens when you have an unmaintained trail. So in saying that, we have to try and get away around this um, river of rocks. And yeah, I don't know. It's really not obvious at all. So. Okay. come here. You think so? You're not going to get the canoe over those rocks with all the gear in it. No, I'm talking about portaging to here. Yeah. This is another story. Yeah. You're going to get it out here and around, so you're going to get up over this to... To analyze whether it's worth trying to climb this with all our gear? Yeah. Okay. This is what scouting's about, right? Yeah, I know. So, uh, <laughs> so she goes up there, doesn't grab the camera. So, I guess I do this one armed. Beautiful, isn't it? Wow. Beautiful, man. Don't know if you guys can hear anything other than water. <laughs> Get out the, uh, the Gaia map. We'll have to figure out what distance on the other side of the river. There is a trail. Um, figure how long that is. This is really not approachable. No. Ah, the canoe's still there. We're gonna go and check out and see if we can locate a campsite over here that's marked on the maps. Matawa to Miskaming Highland Trail. There are more sites along this area, isn't there? Beautiful spot. A shovel, a rake. Hello. Hi. You're not used to seeing people come out of the wet 
<laughs> Did we startle you? I thought it was a bear. Uh-oh. <laughs> you guys catching anything? Yeah, a, bit, a, a couple. We're just sort of killing fishing. We're not too serious today. Okay. <laughs> it's a nice day. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Are you guys hiking the trail? No, no we're we... going to camp. We, we uh, oh, left. Oh, you're camping. Yeah. Nice. We left McLaren's Bay and just canoed up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, nice. Okay. So, what do you think? I just don't know the rules to this. It, it's it's a it's a funny thing. I couldn't find how to book it out, so it's. No, I think it's first come first serve. So. The signs over there with the camping dit said nothing about reserving a site. Somebody was here not that long ago, there's orange peels. <laughs> uh, well, long enough for the orange peels to get moldy, but really not that long ago. Couple of days ago. Old stove. Huh. Somebody put mattresses or something in there. It's terrible. Hey? Yeah. Old bed frame. And then over there too. And here. That's a gazebo. Oh, that's a gazebo. Somebody must have had camp here for quite some time then at one point. Who brings a gazebo out camping with them? Alrighty, let's go find the campsite guys. It looks like it has a pretty nice beach there that we can use for the night. Do some more fishing for pike and swimming, having a fire. Should be a really nice evening. Actually, I don't even think it's lunchtime yet. around the one on the left and we should be clear to go in. Well, guys, I found the outhouse. <laughs> well, I guess Jen's been being indecisive for what she wants for lunch here, so I'm gonna cook some butter chicken. So this is uh, butter chicken dehydrated. Um, I'll try my best to make this in one of these smaller containers. I don't have a whole lot here. We were thinking we'd be able to go up over that rapid. So, so I'll reconstitute the butter chicken in here. And then with that, this is instant rice and I already have it marked out. I have to add 250 ml of water to this. So there's plenty of rice. So I'll be doing that in the bigger pan. And then a nice little touch is putting some ghee in there, clarified butter. So that will go in with it. And that'll be our lunch. Mm -hmm. Get some water in the go. And it'll come to a rolling boil. Boiled it for a minute. I, it's supposed to be a five minutes, I think, but a minute's good enough for me. Never been sick before. So. so what I do with this is, uh, we're in no rush here, but I'll put a little bit of water in there until it's, and it'll soak it up. But you're better to go a little bit less and then add as you need. Here. 
I know that looks runny, but that'll uh, that'll come back. I'll save some of this water just in case I need to add some. There goes my one cup. Get it all stirred in. No, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna heat this pan up again here. I'm not gonna cook it. Okay, go for a swim, let it sit there for 20-30 minutes. Perfect. Oh yeah, it's river cold. It's river cold. <laughs> I have a little crack of rum in there somewhere. There you go. Lordy, Jesus, she's cold. <laughs> I told you it's river cold. Oh my lord. That's fresh. <laughs> <laughs> How quick are you getting in? <laughs> I don't think so. It's all the river. It's all in the dark. I don't think that matters. It's just cold and by the shore here. Once you get over here, it's not cold anymore. Yeah, 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 okay. Aw, come on. It's hard to see. The dark water. She's fresh! Wow! That's like the Atlantic Ocean. It's not that cold. Oh! Boys, boys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's not nice at all. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> 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 
It's freezing. You kind of just got to swim up. Don't kick, though. Just use your front legs. Or front legs. Your arms. <laughs> Ooh. Well, that was, uh, that'll wake you up in the morning. <laughs> wow. So I'm going to put a little bit of, because it's still warm, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, ghee clarified butter. Now this is a lot of butter, but I do plan on making some popcorn later. Mm -hmm. Hack for at home. Try making your stovetop popcorn with ghee instead of oil. You'll find it tastes much more like movie theater popcorn. Yep. So. Ghee and a bit of salt. Yep. Doesn't need much. Like maybe a tablespoonful. And just stir that in. So the thing with the with the butter chicken is butter doesn't keep that well. So I make the butter chicken without the butter. That makes sense. With ghee. Well, without ghee even. Oh, you mean? And I add it last minute. Mm. Um, ghee can last a couple of weeks. Well, they say actually up to six months on the counter. I don't believe that, but but if I'm going to store, if I'm going to dehydrate it, I'll I'll do it without the oil and whatnot in the butter chicken, and then I'll add it when, when you get in get to where you're getting mm -hmm. um, just a little little hack is it'll keep uh, keep keep better so as you can see it's it's coming along now I know guys it's not the same thing as cooking it on the stove I made my chicken pieces really small so they would hydrate up and they will be a little chewy here and that's all you can do with it but we're gonna let it rest a little bit more and get into it, it smells good yeah it smells tastes delicious How's it coming? Almost there. There's one. Thank you. Cheers to a Cheers. nice meal. It's delicious, Rob. Hmm? Delicious. Yeah, the chicken's a little chewy, but... I mean, that's to be expected, right? The flavors are really good. Mm -hmm. So as we were making lunch, we had about eight people walk through our campsite, pull up in a big pontoon boat. Didn't even kind of politely say, hey guys, there's not really too many places to park. Do you mind if we just quickly park and, you know, get to the trail through your campsite? I would have said, no, no problem. But they said nothing until they were walking through the campsite and told us they'd be here in a couple hours. <laughs> sorry. One guy said sorry. Yeah. But still, you, you should you should ask first. I know it's... It's, it's just a... It's this crown land, right? So... I know that, but there's a... Yeah. There's a certain type of etiquette that <laughs> people should have. And I, say, I would say that if, if they had asked before they docked the boat, 99.9% .9 of people would say, yeah, sure, go ahead, no problem. But I think it's just rude when you don't ask. You know what I mean? I would have. It's right in the way, too. Mm -hmm. There's another small beach over to the left of us. They could have used that. And then there's another entrance to the trail just behind our campsite. And it's deep enough for the pontoon to go in there too. They could have used that. But nope. <laughs>
Are we gonna be on your video? Oh, could be. <laughs> <laughs>